Hey, welcome to another video follow through. I'm Pastor Fred. Hit that subscribe button. Don't want you to miss any of these as we look at the scripture, right? We're looking at God's word and, and we're following through on what it says to us, right? It's calling us to believe. It's calling us to live and love and forgive and do all those things. And, uh, and we want to live out our faith. And so here's what we're doing, right? We're in Luke 6. Grab your Bibles. We're going to be in verse 38. And I want you to start with this question. Do you think God is interested in you having a pile of stuff that's bigger than everyone else's? So the biggest bank account, the most toys, right? Because after all, like the saying says, he who dies with the most toys wins, which I think is just so wrong. What a way to live. What a horrible way to live. To think it's just about you having more stuff so you can brag and, 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 and say to everyone else, look at what I have. Now, again, I, I think the problem is with that is not the stuff. It's, it's how we see it. And, 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 and are we going to be generous with what God is giving to us? Jesus says in verse 38, Give and it's going to be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, it's going to be put into your life. God, God is not interested in making your pile bigger, uh, of stuff bigger, but He is interested in giving to you. He, he wants, He will bless you. Now, I'm not saying that if we just ask him that we'll get all the, the a, a zillion dollars. That, that's not the point. Seeing that God gives to us so that we can give to others. Look at what he says. The measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So in other words, if I nickel and dime everyone, why should I ever expect God to be generous to me? Why would I even think that? That others would be generous to me. Like, if I'm not giving, why would I expect others to give to me? Why would I even, you know, think that God would do that? Well, and the reality is that God gives, even though we don't deserve it, right? He, he is so loving. He is so faithful to us. But what he's saying is you can count on that every day. That he's, he's not stingy. He doesn't hold back in what he gives. But what he's saying is that we, we should give. So we want to skip over that give part, don't we? And say, oh, he's going to give me, you know, all of this stuff. Uh, I, I like the give and to me part, but the give part's a little tough. But what he's saying is they go together. And so the more that God gives to me, it gives me more opportunities, gives me more ability to help other people, to bless them, to be generous to them. Like if I don't have anything, I can't share anything, right? But the more I have, the more I can share because I'll have more to share. And so God wants us to look, take a brutally honest look at, at what our motivation is and, and how we see it. Do we see him as, as stingy? Do we see him as holding back? Do we see him as not giving? Do we want to separate, you know, my giving from my receiving from God? Because I think he's, you know, he uses those in the same sentence for a reason. He gives so that we can give and, and we cannot outgive him because that's who he is. All right, so, so let's, let's look at that and say, where is my heart of generosity? Am, am I, um, you know, how, how can I share? And what am I excited about sharing with the world today? All right, see you next time for another follow -up.